A woman finds a young girl sleeping on the sidewalk when she opens her door. The woman wakes her up in a rage and calls her filthy. She is told to leave by the obnoxious woman. When a neighbor sees the situation, she confronts the rude woman and demands to know why she is behaving so rudely toward the young girl. If that's the case, the woman instructs her to bring the girl to her front door. While the rude woman kicks the girl off her sidewalk, the neighbor once more stands up for the girl. The kind neighbor assists the girl in standing up and begs the woman not to be rude to the girl. As she enters her home and shuts the door, the rude woman responds that she finds the girl repulsive and that the neighbor should take her home if she likes her that much. The neighbor shakes her head in disapproval as she continues to sweep her sidewalk. The next day, the rude woman opens her garage door as the girl reappears sleeping on the sidewalk and whines about her once more. She uses a stick to stomp on the ground to wake the young girl up before telling her to leave right away. The woman's neighbor appears as the girl flees and urges her to stop being cruel to the girl because she needs shelter. In response, the woman insists that she takes the girl with her once more. The neighbor tells her to give the girl some food while expressing shock and asking how she could do this to a human being. The neighbor warns the rude woman to stop being so mean because the consequences of her actions could be two times worse. As she tries to defend herself, the woman enters her house and shuts the door while still mumbling. The woman's neighbor criticizes her for being haughty. The next day, the girl reappears on the rude woman's sidewalk, but this time she is carrying a picture and a rosary. The woman complains that the girl is back on the sidewalk as she impatiently steps outside. She mockingly offers some food, but when the girl reaches for the cookies, she throws them to the ground. The neighbor appears forbidding her from picking them up off the ground as she had intended. The rude woman and the neighbor have another argument. She is just as filthy as them, the rude woman tells her, so let the girl eat the cookies. The next door neighbor asks, incredulously, how such a cruel person as her could possibly exist. The neighbor explains that despite her repeated invitations, the girl has refused to come to her door. In response, the rude woman continues to defend herself. The girl is doing it on purpose, according to the nasty neighbor. She angrily tells both of them to go away and goes back inside while the nice neighbor tells the girl to wait a while so she can bring some water and food. She quickly returns with the items she promised and graciously invites the girl to come to her door. The young girl gives the kind woman a smile and opens the water bottle to drink. The following day, once more, the girl is dozing off on her sidewalk when the rude woman goes outside. She remarks as she enters the house about how she will handle the situation. The woman returns with a glass of water, which she pours over the sleeping girl's head. The rude woman yells at the girl and tells her to leave as the girl awakens. The girl flees while the woman returns inside and yells at her. The next day, when the woman leaves her house, she notices that the girl is no longer sleeping on the sidewalk, which she finds odd. She has a worried sideways gaze. Later, she exits once more, wondering where the girl might be. She then gets the bright idea to search the security footage for hints. She logs in from inside to view the security cameras. The young girl is sleeping on her sidewalk when suddenly a man in black attempts to enter the lady's home. The girl then awakens to the commotion and makes an effort to fend off the intruder. The burglar abandons the unconscious girl on the ground before fleeing and the lady is left in shock as she watches. She acknowledges the girl tried to defend her house. She sees another video in which the neighbor discovers the girl's belongings on the floor, gathers them, and leaves with them. As she observes everything, the woman starts to wonder about the girl's whereabouts and what the items were. She decides to go see her neighbor to get some clarification. A moment later, the woman extends a friendly greeting to her neighbor, who returns it. The woman says she saw the neighbor take the girl's belongings and asked if she had any leads after seeing it. In response, the neighbor says she believes something happened to the girl because she was at the hospital in a bad state. The rude woman explains how she found the videos and how she started to worry about the girl. The neighbor is shocked as the woman continues to describe how a burglar attempted to break into her house. She asks the neighbor to show her the girl's possessions and apologizes for being so cruel to them. In agreement, the neighbor goes to get the girl's belongings. 
She returns with the items and displays to the woman the rosemary beads the girl had with her at all times. The woman looks at the beads in shock and explains that she gave her daughter those exact same beads just before she went missing as a child. Confused, the neighbor shows the picture she had, commenting on how similar the woman in the photo looked compared to the now worried woman. The concerned woman confirms that she is the one in the picture and says that her daughter has been missing since she was a young child. The next scene shows the woman looking at a photo album and wondering aloud where her daughter had gone to. Looking at the pictures and expressing her pain, she prays to God that she is still alive. In the present scene, they realize that the girl is actually the worried woman's daughter which explains why she insisted on sleeping on her mother's doorstep over and over again. The neighbor tells the woman that her daughter is in a hospital and urges her to find her. After gathering her daughter's belongings and offering her neighbor an apology, the woman leaves. The neighbor joyfully thanks God for this miraculous occurrence and expresses confidence that everything will be all right. The girl is resting in her bed as her mother enters and prays to God thanking him for giving her daughter back as she places her favorite stuffed animal beside her. The woman worries the girl isn't waking up and places her rosemary beads on her hands. She begs her daughter to wake up, and as the girl opens her eyes, her mother asks her how she is. The mother is relieved when her daughter says she is okay and reassures her that they won't ever be apart again. When her request for forgiveness is met with a favorable response, the mother gives her daughter a kiss and encouraging words. So, what do you think about this video? Let us know what you think here in the comments.